where we are today is Bishop Stopford School in Kettering and I came here when I was 11 so it's very surreal to be back but it's a real privilege. It was actually really easy to get all of the kit together so I just have um, a hand luggage size suitcase with all of my own equipment in. Uh, we brought extras so that the students could practice pipetting and they've been um, adding buffers, they add enzyme and then mix and then they load up the um, Eppendorf's into a centrifuge and we also use some spin columns to clean up the DNA prior to preparing it for sequencing on the moon iron. We are going to be doing some DNA extraction from kefir which is um, it's kind of like a yoghurt. We want to understand um, what the composition of kefir is so uh, we think it contains some bacteria and some yeast but what exactly is in kefir and there's no better way to find that out than to extract the DNA and then sequence it. It's really great to see some of the enthusiasm that I have for what I do every day. It was great being able to put into a practice something that we would have to learn in theory within the A-level itself, but we wouldn't otherwise be able to do with just the simple techniques that were available at our school. And it was really interesting to see the sequencing happen right in front of us in such a short time period. So one of the things that's really good about the mini and makes it very suited to things like this is not only that it's very small, but also it's very portable, so it doesn't depend upon air conditioning or specific temperatures. It combines so many elements of science. So I remember like when I was at school, um, it felt like things were very separate. So you have biology, you have chemistry, computer science, and here we can see how actually we can use computers in biology, we can use tech in biology. For a 16 and 17 year old, they're used to everything being portable, electronic, um, accessible and so that doesn't have always exactly the same impact um, but hopefully we could put it into some context for them by talking about the work of the Sanger Institute. It condenses down quite a lot of technology so like a lab worth of technology into a single sort of tiny brick. All researchers can um, get their own midnight and go off and start sequencing. Sequencing is not confined to a sequencing institute anymore. Those are great places, but sequencing is now becoming for all scientists, even people right at the start of their careers.